Good morning, saints of God. Thank you for joining me this morning. Our worship text is taken from Psalm 18, verse 30 and 31. Psalm 18, verse 30 and 31. Let us enter into a time of worship. Let us enter into his court with praise. Let us enter into his court with thanksgiving. Let us enter into his court. Even when things are not going well, I still need someone to take time and enter into his court with praise. I need someone to enter into the court of God with praise this morning. Father, we enter into your court with thanksgiving because you deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. Today is another day. It's a Monday, Lord. And we have just stepped into to another week and we want to take a moment out and worship you and we want to take a moment out and celebrate you I want to take a moment out and thank you for the week that is just passed and I want to take a moment out and say thank you Father Lord and that you watched over me thank you Father Lord that I am here today thank you Father Lord that I'm not destroyed and thank you Father Lord that I've got life thank you Father Lord and somebody you've got to take a moment out and thank God for your children if you've got children for your wife if you've got a wife for your for your home if you've got a home if you've got a husband take time out um, for your extended family for your community for your church and um, for the things that God has done for you for your job and um, take time out and thank God for his mercies and um, take time out and thank God for his favor take time out and thank God for his covering because it is God that covers you and I um, take time out and glorify him um, and say father lord no sickness look hated me and father I thank you that the enemy came against me like a flood but you raised up a standard for me and father I thank you that it, despite whatever the enemy may have planned for me and despite what could have gone wrong and everything went right and but or even in some cases things may have gone wrong and, but God is delivered you and or God is still working on you or God is still making a way of escape and begin to worship him and praise him right now because he deserves the praise and all the glory if you look at Psalm 18 verse 30 it says God's way is perfect and all the Lord's promises prove truth and um, all the Lord's promises will prove true and um, may all the promises of God over your life come to pass let it prove truth and um, let every promise of God over your life let it come to pass and um, because it says that God's way is perfect um, and all the Lord's promises will prove truth and um, each and every promise each and every prophecy over your life will come to pass and um, because the word of God says that the there's no word that come out of the mouth of God that will return to him void. And sometimes the problem is we did not hear the word that came out of his mouth. And sometimes the problem is you don't believe the word that has come out of the mouth of God. And sometimes the problem is that you are hearing too many other voices in this season. And but you've got to hear the word of God. You've got to hear the promise of God. And you've got to hear the prophecies of God alone. What has God spoken over you in this season? And, and begin to believe it. Begin to apply it. Begin to faith it in the name of Jesus and because every word that comes out of the mouth of God will prove true and it is true over your life and no word will return void and but the only way those words of God can begin to manifest in your life it takes you to hear the word and it takes you to hear and believe the word and it takes you to run with the word in the mighty name of Jesus it is my prayer this morning that someone will begin to run with the word and someone will begin to arise up in the name of Jesus and you will begin to run with with the word of God and this week you've got to run with the word and we are stepped into another week and I pray and that it will not be another week wasted for you and it will not be another week where you are still uh, in doubt and you're still confused and but I pray that it is a week and that you will begin to manifest the words of God and because the word of God is true the words of God are if God is yea and amen it says for who is God except the Lord and who is God except the Lord and who is God except your Lord and there is only one great God and there is only one all-sufficient God and there is only one Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Nisi and there is only one Abba Father and you've got to resolve in yourself that there is only one King and he is the King of Kings and there is only one of him and which side are you on and which God have you chosen 
for your God um, because you cannot dip into so many different places um, you've got to submit to one God um, you've got to submit to that one King um, and it is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords um, it is Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Nisi um, it is your all provider it, he is your healer he is your strength um, he is your might he is the author and finisher of your faith um, he is the lion of the troop of Judah um, he came to die and he rose again um, he sent his only begotten son so that he would die um, and he will rise again and as he was on the cross um, he took away my sin he took away my problems he took away my bondage um, what voice are you listening to in this season um, I encourage someone in this season um, that you have stepped into this week that you will make a vow to yourself um, that I will make sure that I will listen to the word of God and the word of God alone um, I shut out every other voice um, and I listen to the voice of truth um, I shut out every other voice um, and I only want to hear the voice of God in the name of Jesus for who is God except the Lord who is God except the Lord who but our God is the solid rock someone this morning our God is the solid rock our God is the solid rock God's arms arms me with strength in the name of Jesus God arms me with strength may God arm you with strength this week in the mighty name of Jesus may the spirit of God himself arm you with strength your strength cannot do it your strength and your might cannot face the battles that you are in your strength and your might cannot continue complete those agendas that you have got. Your strength and your might cannot resolve anything for you. Your strength and your might is not enough. But we are taking on the might of God. May God's arm be my strength. May God himself begin to arm me with strength. May God begin to arm you with strength in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are right now as we are praying, begin to say, Father, arm me with strength. Please arm me with strength, Lord. Arm me with strength this day arm me with strength this week arm me with strength for the rest of the week God arm me with strength for the rest of the year Father arm me with strength for the next decade arm me with strength until my dying days I call on the strength of God in the name of Jesus let the might of God begin to locate someone may it begin to locate you in Zimbabwe let it locate you in South Africa let it locate you in Canada in America in Ghana wherever you are in Zimbabwe Oh yes, in Kenya, let it begin to locate you. In India, in Pakistan, wherever you are. In the United Kingdom, let the strength of God. Let it begin to locate you. It is only God that can strengthen you and I. Only God can lift us up. Only God can give us strength. The arm of flesh will let you down. The arm of flesh will let you down. You cannot go in with your own strength. Some of the things that we are contending with. It needs bigger strength. It needs supernatural strength. It needs the strength of the almighty and I'm calling on you this morning to say father lord I avail myself and I take on your strength in the name of Jesus he makes me sure footed as a deer God makes me sure footed as a deer he will make you sure footed as a deer begin to pray and say father lord my God my king make me sure footed as a deer make me sure footed let me be sure footed let me be sure footed as a deer I will not begin to wobble I will not be confused lord I will not begin to walk as one without aim I will not continue to walk as one without vision but I will be sure footed I will not fail I will not fall in the name of Jesus I speak over anyone um, that is falling right now in the name of Jesus and um, anyone at the sound of my voice that is falling um, I speak over you that you will rise up in the name of Jesus because the word of God says that seven times shall a just man fall um, but seven times shall he rise again and um, anyone that is falling will rise up right now in the name of Jesus um, don't wallow in self-pity don't wallow in your sickness um, don't wallow in sorrow don't wallow in pain and um, don't wallow wallow in hatred don't wallow in unforgiveness and don't have a pity party because no one is interested and God is here to pick you back up and pick yourself up dust yourself off and and begin to go Cabo Santa Cabre I don't know what sickness has befalled you and I don't know what problems has befell you and I don't know what challenging situation you are facing this week and I don't know what challenging situation you've been facing the weeks before and but I've come to tell you and that you will be sure-footed as a DM God will make you 
sure footed as a deer. May you begin to arise up in your might in the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to stand up in the might of God. Begin to stand up in the strength of God. Begin to walk in the healing of God. Begin to walk in the anointing and favor of God. Begin to walk in the prosperity of God. Begin to receive abundant grace. Begin to receive abundant mercy. In the name of Jesus, you will be a sure footed as a deer. The word of God says, be a sure footed as a deer. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Kabosa, be a sure footed as a deer in the mighty name of Jesus. Enabling me to stand on mountain heights. Enabling me to stand on mountain heights. You need to be sure footed as a deer so you can stand on mountain heights because that is where God is taking you. God says, Tell my people I'm taking someone to the mountain top. I'm taking someone to the mountain top. But when God takes you to the mountain top, you've got to be able to remain at the mountain top. There's so many people that God may have taken you to the mountain top, but your feet was not as sure footed as a deer and you came tumbling right down. You were not prepared for the mountain experience and you were not equipped for the mountain experience and, and you fell back down and, but I speak over you right now in the name of Jesus and you are sure footed as a deer and you are prepared for this mountain top and begin to uh, receive the mountain experience wherever you are and be elevated to a mountain in the name of Jesus and God wants to elevate someone onto a mountain and so that you can have a different view and you have been in the valley for too long and you have dwelt at this place for too long and you have have remained in the pit hole for too long you have remained in prison for too long you have remained in the dungeons for too long you have remained in obscurity for too long you have wallowed in self-pity for too long you have remained in sickness for too long you have remained in that bed for too long you have remained at that gate called beautiful for too long you have suffered the blood issue for too long but God wants to change your position God wants to change someone's location your blindness has got to give way your sickness has got to give way and we are coming against every limitation and we are coming against everything that has become a stumbling block and we are coming against every demonic embargoes that have been placed in your life and because God says I am taking you to the mountain top and God says tell my people I want to change someone's view today and I want to change your view and that when you are on the mountain top you see differently and when you are in the valley you see differently and when you are on the side of the mountain you see differently and but the word of God says I am taking you to the mountain top and I don't know who wants a mountain experience but I know that I need a mountain experience. I need to have a different view because when I'm up on that mountain I can see him. I've got a 360 view. Some of you have got a 1% view. Some have got a 1%, 2%, 3%, 10% but God wants to give you a 360 view in the name of Jesus and he says that I will make you sure footed as a deer enabling me to stand on the mountain height because God is taking you to a mountain height. God is taking someone to the mountain height and, and he needs to equip you and he needs to develop you and he needs to strengthen you and, and he needs to make you sure footed as a deer before he pl places you there he says he trains my hands for battle he strengthens my arms to draw a bronze bow Cabo Santa Cabre he trains my hands for battle God will train your hand for battle God knows that on that mountain top for you to remain on the mountain top there will be certain battles that you will face and there will be certain things that you've got to fight because men will begin to see you and sometimes when you are buried in obscurity nobody sees you and when you are buried in obscurity no one knows you and you are defined by your problems you are defined by setting names and they call you setting names and and when you've got that one percent view nobody cares and they just like you where you are but when God puts you up on the mountain top and you begin to face certain battles and but I pray in the name of Jesus and that God will begin to teach your hands to war and because where God is taking you and you will come across setting hurdles and you will come across setting battles and but God himself and is equipping you and he says that he makes me sure footed as a deer and he enables me to stand on the mountain height and, and he strengthens my hand oh, yes to draw a 
bow and arrow and he trains my hands for battle and may God begin to train your hands for battle and may he begin to strengthen your arm to be able to draw the bronze bow and arrow for you to be able to draw out the bronze bow God needs you to draw out the bronze bow because the time is coming when you got to draw it out and the enemy will see you from the mountain top when Jesus went into seclusion and went to pray and fast the Bible said that the enemy turned up and the enemy began to tempt him wherever God takes you when God takes you to higher heights the enemy will try to come and tempt you he will try to come into your place of promotion and tempt you he will try to come into that position of influence and try to tempt you oh but I pray over someone this morning because God says I have made you sure footed as a deer and God says that he will position you on the height and God says that it is him that will teach your hand to battle and he will strengthen your arm so that you can draw that bronze bow oh yes you have given me him your shield of victory in the name of Jesus God has given you the shield of victory even before you get there even before you are positioned there even after God has taught your hand to war even after he has strengthened your arms to draw out the bow it says that he has given you a shield of victory someone your word this morning is God has given me a shield of victory God is giving me a shield of victory this morning in the name of Jesus your right hand supports me David said your right hand supports me oh my God God is not just putting you on that height he's not just giving you a sure footed uh, as a deer and he's not just positioning you on the mountain top um, and changing your view um, and changing your perception um, and changing your mind and reframing you and positioning you in your place of glory um, but God knows in advance that the enemy will try to attack you um, and God himself is equipping you um, he himself is teaching you how to walk um, and he has strengthened your arm to be able to draw the bow and arrow and he has given you a shield of victory and the Bible says that his right hand will support you somebody God is not leaving you there God says tell my people I'm not leaving them there my right hand will be there to support you my right hand will be there to support you your help has made me great in the name of Jesus his right hand is there to support you his right hand is there and you help me and you help me your help has made me great it is God that gives man promotion it is God that will make you great. It is God that will maintain you there. I'm speaking over someone in the name of Jesus. When you are positioned on that mountain top, you cannot afford to forget God. You cannot afford to forget Him. You need to remain clued into Him. You need to remain locked into Him. You need to remain with Him because God is not just positioning you and abandoning you. God wants to continue to have a relationship from the foundation of this earth to now and two times to come up. God wants a relationship and all God wants it's a relationship and he wants a people that will remain in him and him in them and he wants a group of people that will have his word on the inside of them and he wants a group of people that will reach deep into them and, and pull out a word for the season and he's looking for a group of people that will say father Lord and your word is in me and what word do I need for the season and what word have you spoken for the season and what would you have me talk about in the season and what would you have me say and prophesy in the season what would you have me declare in the season because every time he's got the word on the inside of you if you've got the word of God in you and you are in him you would have a word for the season when he puts you on the mountain top when you begin to have the mountain experience and you will remain connected with him because he says that my right hand will touch you and my right hand will support you and oh yes God wants to support you and he is the one that has made me great and you have made a wide path for my feet and and to keep them from slipping in the name of Jesus and he has made a wide path for your feet and, and he will keep you from slipping in the name of Jesus and may God begin to stop someone for slipping and may God get you hooked in and may God position you so well and that you will never slip and when God puts you in a position of influence and you will never lose that position and when God puts you as the CEO of a company and when God puts you as a manager to an organization and when God gives you a business and 
when God puts you in a position of leadership and when God puts you in that position and in marriage you become a wife you become a husband and you become a, a, a father or a mother you will never lose that position in the name of Jesus and when God promotes you and no man can demote you and because God says that I will make you sure footed as a DM and I will give you the shield of victory and, and it is me that will strengthen your arm to pull the bow and it is me God will give it to you and he says I will remain there with you and, and my right hand will support you and, because it is me that will make you great and, and I will make your paths big and, that you will not slip off and, may you not slip off somebody take a moment out and, and say father I pray for my mountain experience and, I am calling for a mountain experience and, I am calling for a mountain experience over me and, in the name of Jesus I'm calling for that mountain experience that mountain experience and, somebody begin to pray for the mountain experience right now and, let us pray for the mountain experience because that is where God is taking you and, he's taking someone onto a mountain right now and, he's elevating someone to the mountain right now and, and when you get to that mountain God is already prepared and, he is already prepared you he says that I have made your foot as sure footed as a DM that when you get on that mountain top you will not come down and, you are no longer coming down I prophesy over someone and, that as God is repositioning you and, as God is relocating you and, as God is calling you for greater heights and promotion and, you will never come down in the name of Jesus and, I come against anything that was speaking against your destiny and, I speak against anyone that is fighting you right now and, I speak against anyone and, whose plan is to destroy you and, in the mighty name of Jesus and, that you will not be demoted you will not lose your footing you will not lose your position and, you will not lose where God has placed you and, it is God that gives man promotion and, we don't need anyone in the eyes of men and, many of us are disqualified and, in the eyes of men and, many of us do not qualify and, but in the eyes of God he has qualified us and, and God is saying that I am taking you to the mountain top and, I am changing your view your view I am changing it and, I don't know what mountain you were on but God I pray for the highest mountain and, that you will position me on the highest mountain Lord and, in the mighty name of Jesus beloved you cannot miss tomorrow and, we will continue this prayer point tomorrow in the name of Jesus and, we will continue it in Jesus mighty name and, and I pray that you will come and be a part of it and, we have come to the end of the 20 minutes and, and I've got to end it here for now and, may you share this video with someone may you like this video may you leave a comment below and, but I pray over you beloved before you go and, that the spirit of God will be with you and, let the power of God be with you and, wherever you go cause a ruckus in there in the name of Jesus and, wherever you go and, do exploits because that is what you have been called to do and, I need someone who is going to be fired up today and, and say Father Lord this experience is mine and, this experience is so mine and, and I'm taking it by force in the name of Jesus and, every mountain experience that I've got to receive I take it by force and, in the mighty name of Jesus beloved tomorrow we will continue with this and come and be a part of this share this video with someone like this video in the mighty name of Jesus I also want to remind you if you haven't already subscribed can you subscribe to the channel because we've got our fire conference coming up on the 31st of October 2020 it is a fire conference and come and experience the fire of God because God the Holy Spirit and is going to let out his fire and the fire of God it's you don't want to miss it beloved you just don't want to miss this and I want to encourage you that you don't want to miss this at all in the name of Jesus and because God will be doing something great and he wants to empower you he wants to pour into you and he wants you to catch the fire and go out in your community and light it everywhere and in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you I thank you for a brother or sister that has watched this and, and I pray that you will continue to bless them in the mighty name of Jesus amen thank you